Balance scales, where it's from, how it's used, and the physics behind it. Balance is when two unalike elements are equal, but what determines balance? Well, that's the balance scale, of course. But you might wonder, where did it come from and how does it work? Well, I'm here to tell you all about the balance scale. So let me introduce to you a brief history of the balance scale. It all started in Egypt, 4,000 years ago. The balance scale's first model was a rod with a suspended string in the middle, which balanced items at each side. It was mainly used to determine the cost of products, but it is often used to measure the value of gold nuggets which couldn't be counted by pieces. The appearance and machinery of balance scales were not majorly changed until the industrial era back in the 1800s. The balance scale has been used as a prominent symbol for justice. Now let us answer the question. Why does Lady Justice hold a balance scale? It was said that the balance scale symbolizes the weighing of evidence based on its own merit to make sure everything is fair and just. So now, how is a balance scale used? Balance scales are relatively easy to use. The scale operates similarly to a seesaw. If one side has a greater amount of mass, it weighs the pan down, making the other side rise up. There are two pans, one on the left and one on the right. Items must be placed on both pans so they can be weighed and their value can be determined. Now that we are aware of how a balance scale works, let us now determine its parts. The first part of the balance scale is the beam. It is what connects the two sides. Next are the strings which allow the pans to be connected to the beam. Lastly are the pans on which items are to be placed on. Before we finally discuss the physics behind the balance scale, we must first clear up any confusion regarding the differences of balance and scales and mass and weight. Mass is the measure of matter that something is made up of. Weight, on the other hand, measures the gravitational force of a given mass. Mass is measured by balance. It shows if elements are equal or not. Weight is determined by a scale. It shows the gravitational force of a given mass. Finally, we are to discuss the physics behind balance scales. In physics class, we learned about balance and unbalanced forces. So if you are not aware of these terms, allow me to explain. A balanced force is when two alike forces are in opposing directions. Each side is of the same stature. It has the same amount of mass and the same amount of force, making everything the same and equal. A perfect example of this would be a tug-of-war. It would be a balanced force if both sides of the rope would have the same amount of players exerting the same amount of effort. Unbalanced forces is when opposing forces are not of the equal size or effort. Because of this, unbalanced forces cause a shift in motion. Now imagine a game of tug of war, where the right side had one extra player. Now the game won't be balanced, causing a shift in motion. So in balance scales, if both sides have the same amount of mass exerting the same amount of effort, the scale won't move, it would be balanced. But if a pan has an additional amount of mass, the scale will move and it will be unbalanced. As we are nearing the end, let us take a quick recap of what we have learned. Balance scales were first discovered in Egypt and had been used since 2000 BC. The balance scale is made up of a beam suspended by a string in the middle and pans on each side. Mass is different from weight. Mass is the amount of matter and it is measured by balance. Weight shows the gravity of a given mass, and it is to be measured by a scale. A balanced force has the same amount of measures on each side, which makes them equal. And finally, unbalanced forces has an odd amount of measures that makes a side greater or less. Now that concludes the physics behind balance scales. Thank you for listening and have a good day.